Welcome back. Well, in news from the men's singles in the Australian Open, Andy Murray is hopes of becoming the first British male to be a Grand Slam winner in 75 years. And the entire Britain's hopes that he would break his own jinx have been dashed. Serbia's Novak Djokovic beat Andy Murray 6-4, 6-2, 6-3 to win the Australian Open for the second time in three, week, in three years. Djokovic was firmly in control from late in the opening set and has dedicated his win to his family and the victims of the Australian floods. These kinds of things and uh, this man is a champion on court and off. He won the Davis Cup for his country in December and now he's given them an Australian Open title as well in uh, in 2011 so i would just like to uh, everybody to to remember the the victims of the floods in these two weeks of course we try to contribute as much as we can and uh, and just a, a little gesture of remembering those people who, who suffer a lot so they are not alone and then of course in the end i dedicate this title to uh, to my family my brothers my girl elena back home my people that uh, have been with me for, for so many years and, uh, and there's been a tough period for, for our people in Serbia, but we are trying every single day to present our country in the best possible way. So this is for my country, Serbia. Thank you. And supermom Kim Kleisters was crowned the women's singles champion yesterday. Kleisters was up against Lina, who was the first Asian woman to reach the final of a Grand Slam. Kleisters beat her in three sets, 3-6, 6-3, 6-3. And this is Aussie Kim's fourth Grand Slam singles title. The only slam she has won before, this is the US Open. This win will take the Belgian to the number two spot in the world rankings. And there might still be some hope for the cricket fans in Kolkata. Pranam Mukherjee has said that the IC, he will call the ICC President Sharad Pawar and ask him to reinstate the matches at Eden Gardens that were pulled off due to the stadium's unpreparedness. I ব্যাপারে আমার কিছু মন্তব্য নেই কালকে ডালমি আমার সঙ্গে দেখা করেছিলেন আমি শরৎ পাওয়ারের সঙ্গে কথা বলবো তবে আমি খেলাধুলোর ব্যাপার কিছু বুঝি না কি সমস্যা সেটা জানা খেলাধুলো বোঝেন তাদেরই সমাধান করতে হবে international football with Indian entrepreneur Ahsan Ali Sayed acquiring Spanish Premier Football Club Racing de Santander and after weeks of recognition uh, and negotiation Said took over as the owner of the Spanish club on Saturday. The Bahrain-based businessman is said to have spent close to 250 crore rupees to buy the team. Said thus becomes only the second Indian to fully own a European club after Wenkies took over Blackburn Rovers recently. And finally, as India marks the death anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi, a group of uh, children in Chennai held a peace mela. The children held a procession today along the Marina Beach to spread the message of peace. Peace was the message the children here expressed in many forms. With symbols and images identified with peace, they highlighted Mahatma Gandhi's ideology of non-violence. If I see them polluting, I'll tell them to prevent it and do it some other way. Like if you're going in a car which pollutes, you can get that kind of filter in which the smoke does not come out. The workshop was not just about the need for peace, but also about empowering the children to spread the message. And the process is about getting young people to think about what is peace and what is violence in my life. That children feel very disempowered in their lives. It's like the government must do something, the parents must do something, the school must do something, the family must do something. But I was always focused on what can you do. It is everyone's wish to live in a peaceful world. But that's not what we see around us now. The Peace Mela by Children, let's hope, will spread the message across communities for a better world. In Chennai, Pratiksha for NDTV Hindu. And that's all we have on this bulletin. Before we wrap, we leave you with the march. The little ones dressed as little Mahatmas walked to spread the message of peace. Thanks so much for watching.
Ooh. Mm-hmm.